All right, guys, we're back with the red. We got all the sheep head knocked out. And that's a big bowl of fillets right there. So we're gonna do the red very similarly to how we do the sheep head, but we're gonna leave the skin on it. So we're gonna start back here where the scales meet the fins. There's a little spot where you can get your knife in. Bring your knife all the way up here. And the scales are kind of tough, so you gotta give it a little bit of a push sometimes. And then work your way down. And you can feel that backbone in there. You can bump the tip of your knife off of it. Carry it all the way down. To the tail, stop right there. Clean your knife off. Turn the fish a little bit and insert your knife up here in the head. And you want to start to turn it. It'll go into the ribs. Turn it up. Follow the rib bones. And work your way down. Takes a little patience and a little bit of practice. like that that's basically the hardest part now the rest of it you just take your time basically just kind of hull it out now you're gonna miss a little bit but that's fine we'll just throw those trimmings in with the sheep heads for frying later Follow those bones. Turn the fish around. Down here. And basically do an outline just like you did on the top of the fish. Go down in, pull your knife out, scrape the uh, scales off of it. Just gently work it off of there. And get down here to the very end of the tail. Punch through. And you've got your redfish fillet on the half shell. Leave the skin on it, throw it on the grill. Wonderful. And you can go back. Throw this little bit of extra meat and stuff here. Try to stay away from that bloodline because it does have a fishy taste. Just trim all this extra meat off throw it in there with a the sheep head for frying the thin pieces like that fry up so crispy it's like eating a fish potato chip it's wonderful uh, do the same thing on the other side and I'll be back all right y'all I wanted to show you how I freeze this fish put it up for later use so I use these containers now you don't have to you can use a ziploc bag whatever you want to but uh, what I like to do is take the fillets I'm trying to stick them in here as many as I can get but what we're going to do later is cover them with water and freeze them that way so that way they're frozen in water they last a lot longer they don't tend to get freezer burnt I'm also not trimming them up when I get ready to cook them I will trim these blood lines out like that right there I'll cut all that stuff out too when I get ready to cook them but when I'm freezing them I don't do that just in case something happens and things get freezer burnt hopefully it'll be the bloodline part so that's gonna be about it guys that's all that one's gonna hold you put some water on it put a top on it stick it in the freezer now, as you can see I've got the fish completely submerged in the well almost completely submerged sometimes it wants to float a little bit but you just keep messing with it and it'll eventually work itself down now put the top on it throw it in the freezer good to go